The highest level of Chinese medicine has always been understanding what's called the direction of energy. Now, this is a very non-woo-woo concept, but it sometimes can be hard to understand. Now, in this fourth self-healing video, I've had this video series on my channel here on how to actually recover from chronic illness and the process I used, I want to introduce you to this incredibly important concept in Chinese medicine to help you understand the directional patterns of energy in your life and in your body, what that really means, and how you can use it to heal yourself. Hey, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master of the Day, and current doctoral student in traditional or classical Chinese medicine. Now, I've also included a free download. It's the first link in the description there. It's five daily rituals to help you add 10 years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. And it's all about some of the daily practices you can get started with right now. So that's the first link in the description there. So what is all this stuff that's, that I'm talking about in regard to the direction of energy, the direction of qi? This is a very non-hippie woo-woo concept. And these ancient physicians put together Chinese medicine in terms of universal laws. So it's based almost like the laws of physics work. So they understood, for example, that everything in nature, the food we eat, the herbs we eat, a person's temperament, and our lifestyle affect the direction of energy in the body. So for example, a person who's always working is using the outward expansive direction of energy in the body. So if you work a lot, you talk a lot, you're always on your phone, you're just doing all these things, you're using that force in that direction. Now the opposite is true too. You could be someone that spends a lot of time meditating, a lot of time sleeping, a lot of time living a very calm, relaxed lifestyle. Think about the country life. That's a life where there's lots of gathering. So the energetic direction in the body is going like this. It's storing. That's usually associated with winter time and with storage. While the other, this working, going out, is associated with more of like the springtime energy. Things are bursting through the ground. Now, what does this even really mean, and how is this important clinically for your health? So I've shared my story here on burnout, and how I basically got myself to the point of almost clinical burnout, not like physically, or excuse me, emotionally feeling like I didn't want to work, but I had 10 health symptoms pop up that I'd never had before once in my life. Now, in the ancient times, people obviously knew that overwork caused a certain kind of burnout, and a certain kind of depletion of the body's energy and vitality. Anyone has known someone that's worked so hard for so long that they prematurely age. I mean, the 40-year-old CEO that's all gray is almost a cultural cliche. But the ancient physicians knew that not only your lifestyle could do that, but certain herbs and foods you eat could do that. So, for example, the natural flavors we find in nature, sweet, sour, bitter, salty, spicy, when you put sour into your mouth, you know, anyone that's put a warhead into their mouth and they make this puckered face, knows that it goes, that sour, it's like, it puckers, it draws in. And so sour has that astringing drawing in effect. And so if a person's lifestyle is too going outward, too much working, too much pushing, too much effort, too much drilling, then what they need is more of those herbs that actually cause that drawing in, withdrawing, settling, sleeping, resting, the herbs that cause that effect in the body. When I was going through my burnout stage, like I had been doing 70 hour weeks probably for four or five years. And it wasn't that the 70 hours was a lot. It was that a lot of it was work I didn't like. I had a full-time job. I was building my own business on the side. I really wanted to quit. And so every day I was just like that. Like, uh, like I need to quit soon. I'm, I hate this. I want to get done. I need to get out of here. I'm so stressed. I'm so rushed. And for me, more than my working 70 hours, it was that state that pushed me into the state of illness. Because if you imagine that pressure of the discontent, of the unhappiness, that is just as damaging as any external lifestyle a person can have. So I was creating that, <clears throat> that pressurized pushing feeling without even physically moving my body because I was a desk job. 
You know, I wasn't digging ditches 70 hours a week. I wasn't physically exhausting my body, but I exhausted it the same way through the emotional state of the push. You can replicate the physiologic state of overworking by pushing with your emotions in the same way. It's kind of crazy that these ancient physicians saw that and they understood it so well. So how can you really use this concept, this direction of energy, to heal yourself? The most fundamental way in your own life is to think how much up and out are you doing and how much down and gathering in are you doing, okay? Very, very simple. We live in a culture now where everybody is overstressed, overextended. Even the phone uses up that force in your body because it still requires attention. You're still actively engaging attention to use the phone to do things, to observe. It's still a kind of action that depletes you in Chinese medicine, as opposed to if you're just sitting, sipping a cup of coffee, looking out the window at a cafe, that kind of, it produces a more peaceful state as opposed to flipping through Instagram. And so in your own life, reflect how much of the time are you using just the up and down forces in your body, the push, the active, the work versus the withdraw in, the reflect, the meditate, the sleep, the slow down. That by itself should be a game-changing revelation in terms of your own self-healing. And it certainly was in my own life. Now before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, where is the direction of energy, quote-unquote, where is it going in your life and in your body? And where do you feel it the most when you're doing that pattern? All right, comment there below. Now again, if you'd like to get started with studying and practicing some of these practices, that first link in the description is the free guide on how to add 10 years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. A few practices you can do on a daily basis to help you cultivate that kind of presence in your life. So again, that's the first link there. You can also check out my last video on the channel right there.